I think sometimes we need to think about it. Yes, let us put them into consideration. Also, we need our prayer. Those that are working in the hospital, the nurse, the matron, the doctors, they really need our prayers. from another mother yes today we are going to be talking about this i don't know if it has ever come across your mind but it's something that i just woke up this morning i was just thinking i said god we have so many people infected now so many people that will be affected with this you know what i'm talking about now <laughs> hey god um as we are talking they are in the hospital there was a video I uploaded, though I was giving copyright claim on it. <laughs> but I have to put it so that my white family and friends will see it, what is going on. So I was just contemplating, I was thinking about it. I said, yes, we have people right now in the hospital. We have the doctors, we have the matron, we have the nurse, we have other staff that are there. And they need to take care of these people that have been affected. So what is their fate? What is their fate right now? So I was just thinking of it. I said, I'm going to share this with my wife, family and friends. We need to put them in prayers. That's just the truth. Because they must take care of the patients. They must stay in the hospital because of you. Yes, because of me. That's the reason why they are there. We should take precaution to stay indoor to stay at home is going to be for a matter of time it's not going to be forever that's just the truth i know it's an avenue for so much of us that think we are god some of us that think there is no god for us to know that there is god that's just the truth yes i'm going to be sharing a story with us that i've read in the bible and when I was going through my Bible, I noticed that it's something, all these things that happened, they've happened before. They've happened before. So if it's happening now, it's something that it will, it will happen. We can't stop it. When I was reading my Bible, I, I happened to come across when something like this happened among the Egyptians. Then when God asked Moses to go to the Egypt, go to Egypt to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. You could remember, you remember vividly what happened when he got there. Pharaoh did not believe. That is what is happening. He did not believe. He said no. He will not let them go. To him, he's making use of the Israelite. Yeah, if they go, now he's going to be helping them. To him. They've got so much that they, they are using them for. So he said he won't let them go. Even after a, 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 he was asked to test his faith, where Moses brought out his rod, you know now, he asked his magician to bring out their own rod. He wrote on to snake. Moses' own swallowed his magician so at the end he refused to let the Israelite go he refused to believe in God that is how I will say it <laughs> he, he refused to believe in God other things came out the one that made him to say oh let these people go I don't need them anymore let them go let them go I don't need them anymore was when God said they should anoint their doorstep with the blood, they should kill a ram, anoint it on their doorstep, they should kill a ram. When they see the blood, we pass over because they don't want to kill the Israelites. Do you understand exactly what is going on? We are indoor for a purpose. As you are there, 
it's for a purpose. It's not for you to. It's not to punish you. No, no, no. It's not to punish us. To cut the old story short, when he now noticed that the firstborn of the Egyptian, they are being killed. Yeah, they are shouting, "Hey, help! Oh, help!" Oh. It was the following day that I asked the other. Go, 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 I don't need you guys anymore. I don't need you. I don't need you. But I will, I'm here to tell you that saying they should go didn't even reach his mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> because that was the reason why he now later stood up, took his chariot, his men, said, Let's pursue them. Lord, allow them to know that we are going after them. He started pursuing them. I read in the Bible that it was his God. That gave him that mindset to pursue the Israelites as they were going. For. What shocked me most was when they got to the Red Sea. He would have said, Oh, these people, they will die inside the sea. Let's go back. But because he wanted to kill them, want to make sure he killed them so that they will not have future, they will not have anything to, to do in life anymore. When they entered the Red Sea, Instead of them to go back, he said they should enter too. But what happened at the end of the day? They were not key when they were entering the, the Red Sea. No. At the middle of the Red Sea, God asked Moses to put the rod and the sea. Dry land, dry land. Where is dried? Kij, everyone. The only person that was left to was Pharaoh. Why? Because God wanted to show to him that he's the king of kings, he's the lord of law. He's the one that can say a thing and he's the one that can bring it to pass. So this is what exactly what is happening. It's now time for us to have a change of hearts. But I know we still have some people that are not ready to change. But those of us that are ready, it's now time. As we are doing that, Put these people in prayers, the nurse, the matrons, the staff, those that are taking care of the patient in the hospital, they need our prayers. Yes, you need to, I have some friends, I have some that are doctors, I have some that are nurse, that are matrons. I ask questions, don't mind me. I have to ask those that are close to me. How do you do this thing? You need to see the way they hide themselves. Yes, I'm going to be putting a picture there. You need to see the way they hide themselves just to make sure they are not being infected with this virus that is going around. They have to cover their face, cover their nose, cover their body. It's as serious as that. And I said, fine, you are able to go through this, cover everything. You have you are a family man, you are a family woman. You get home. You meet with your family, your kids, your husband, your wife. How do you cope? You know your sister. <laughs> Ask questions. Don't mind me. Oh. <laughs> so I was told that it's not funny. It's not funny at all. But what will they do? That when they get home, I asked two different people and they gave me the same answer. When they get home, what they do is that once they are coming, the if it's Daddy that is home, if his mommy that is at home, they will leave the apartment. Can you imagine? This is this is something that I can't say it pained me. I was like, God, help us. We really need help. Right now. That is why I said we should keep on praying. Let's keep on praying so that this whole thing will end. The, they will not isolate themselves as if the person has been affected. The mom will not need to go away from the living room or the kids will not go to their room to go and stay. When the woman come or the man come, they will come, go straight to the washing machine. Every day they now do routine. They wash their clothes every day now. Every day. They do it. They now bait themselves. There was one that even told me, yes, yeah, she happened to be a childhood friend. She said, our house now. She said, blessing my house now is if you if you can't even enter my house right now i said why is it because you don't want to invite he said no he said it's smelly with azar that is to tell you the 
God, God, I just pray. I want you to join me in prayer to let's pray. God will continue to strengthen them. God will continue to encourage them wherever they are. Those nurses, those matrons, those staff, yes, that are making this thing easy. Yes, to me, they are making it easier because if they are not there, what will happen to these people? If they are not there, they decide, oh, I'm not talking about where I come from, Africa now, in Nigeria now. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the Western world. How the nurses, the matron, are taking good care of these people. And I pray God that we serve, continue to encourage them, continue to strengthen them. On your own, visual time, please put them in your prayer. That God will continue to encourage them. God will continue to strengthen them. God will continue to be with them. They will not be affected because of the, they are good. We not keep them. Yes, so it's good. I call it. <laughs> they are good. We not keep them. Thank you so much. I don't want this video to be too long. Thank you so much for staying too. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. I want continue to encourage us to put them in our prayers when you are praying. Continue to put them in your prayers that God will continue to encourage them. God will continue to protect them too because they are going out and we are indoor. They've asked us to stay indoor. They, the one who told me, said, where are you? I said, I'm not home. We said, no, 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 no. I am in the hospital. You should stay home. We are here because of you people. So you you help us by staying home. I was not laughing. I was the best. Where will I go to? I'm home. <laughs> She was like, please, that this thing is real. It's real. It's not a joking matter. We should not take it as joke. It's real. Wherever you are, continue to stay safe. Yes, continue to stay safe. Continue to pray for people out there so people will be affected and they need our prayers. They need our encouragement. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Bye. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Yes, if possible, help us to share. Bye. Thank you so much.